Hi guys, Mark here. Thank you for joining me. This tutorial covers a relatively fancy paracord dog leash decorated using plating. It's not really hard to do, but it takes time, patience and a bit of effort. So with that said, let's take a look at the parts of the leash, then make our own. At the front, we either have a carabiner or a snap hook. Then, we have an eye made using the four-stranded round braid. The eye is reinforced using a rope thimble. Then, we have a foot rope knot, a gouge of fan knot done in two colors, and a cord done using the eight-stranded lazy man's braid. So the cord goes from the front here and forms a handle. Over our cord we have a 12-stranded round plate. Here at the handle we have a couple of more foot rope knots and another two-pass gaucho fan knot. So this is our project for today. Let's get started. In this tutorial, I'm going to be stating measurements for a four foot long dog leash. If you want a longer or a shorter one, adjust your cord lengths accordingly. So first off, cut four pieces of paracord, each 16 feet long. Find the middle point, move up about an inch and a half to two inches, and secure your four strands together. Then, tie this part here, so the shorter one perhaps onto a door handle or something like that, to give you some tension onto your cords. You can also tape these four strands down onto the table if that suits you better. We now braid our four strands into the four stranded round braid, which is going to form an eye at the start of our leash. Take your four strands, separate them into two sets of two. Take the top right strand, pass behind, in between the two strands on the left, back to the bottom on the right. The top left strand passes behind, in between the two strands on the right, back to the bottom on the left. Top right strand, behind, in between the two strands on the left, back to the bottom on the right. Top left strand, behind, in between the two strands on the right, back to the bottom on the left. So that's our sequence. Top right, top left, top right, top left. Once in a while, you need to undo the back braid forming here at the bottom. Then simply continue. Top right, top left, top right, top left. Top left. 
you want a length of your braid which is going to cover your rope thimble from one side here all the way to the other side. So this is the length that we want, from one side to the other. I'm now going to install a rope thimble, plus either a snap hook or a carabiner. So like this. I have my rope thimble at the middle of my braid and the ends meet here at the top. I'm going to take my snap hook and install it at this point. So I have my braid, my rope thimble, and my snap hook. At the top, I'm going to take four strands of one color, like this, and I'm going to tape them up together. We now tie a foot rope knot to close the eye at the front of our leash. We're not going to be using the four taped up strands. Take the other four strands, arrange them one to each side. One towards the top, one towards the bottom, one towards the left, one towards the right. Now tie a crown knot. You take a strand, pass it counterclockwise over the next strand. Take the next strand, pass it counterclockwise over the next strand. The next strand again passes counterclockwise over our last strand. Our last strand passes into the loop created by our first strand. Tighten up a bit and you get a square shaped crown knot with the four taped up strands at the center. Take a strand, pass under your next strand, double up 
this one here on the inner side going under the one. Take the next strand again. Pass under your next strand. Double up this one here on the inner side going under the one. Take the next strand under these two strands double up this one on the inner side going under the one out of the two remaining strands pick up the outermost one Pass under your next strand. Here you need to be a bit careful. We are going to double up this strand here. We need to start here at the bottom under this strand. Like this on the inner side. And under two here at the top. So again here we went under this strand, then doubled up this one here on the inner side going under two. To finish up, take a strand, double up this strand here at the bottom, passing under here to do the center of the knot. Like this. Take the next strand and repeat. So over these two strands, doubling up this one here at the bottom, then through the center of our knot. The next one, again over two, doubling up this strand and going through the center of the knot. Our last strand again over to doubling up this strand traveling through the center of the knot. This ties our foot rope knot. To tighten it up, start with the strands 
coming into the knot from the four stranded braid, pull the strands through the entire knot, into one of your ends. Repeat this a number of times until you get a nice looking tight knot. So something like this. Make sure that you bring your knot as close to the rope thimble as possible. So keep tightening, going through your strands probably one to two more times and pulling these four through as much as you can. We now remove the tape. And we're going to braid our 8 strands into a cord for our leash. So hook your leash onto a door handle or tape it down onto your table. Again, we need some tension onto our strands. We now braid our strands into the 8 stranded lazy man's braid. To do this, we're going to work 2 strands at a time just like in the round braid. So the top two right strands pass behind, in between the strands on the left, back to the bottom on the right. The top two left strands pass behind, in between the strands on the right, back to the bottom on the left. Top two right strands pass behind in between the strands on the left, back to the bottom on the right. Top two left strands pass behind, in between the strands on the right, back to the bottom on the left. Once in a while tighten up by pulling on your strands, just to get a more consistent braid. Then continue. Top right. Top left. Top right. Top left. Tighten up a bit. Do your braiding for about 4 feet and 7 inches. After a while of braiding, we reach a total length of 4 feet 7 inches. So from the tip here up to this point, we have 4 feet 7 inches. At the 4 foot mark, we fold our braid like this, forming a handle. 
We are now going to work the eight ends into the braid, locking our handle in place. To work our strands into the braid, we need some sort of a tool. A spike, a modeling spike, or a fed can help us create gaps. To do which, we can then push our strand. A wooden fed, such as this one, can be easily carved out of a piece of a dowel rod. A big upgrade is the Swedish fed. You use it to again push to create gaps and you feed your strands through the channel in the Swedish fed. You can also use a lacing needle, attaching it onto your strands and feeding them through your gaps one by one. So these are a couple of tools that I can definitely recommend. We now work the strands into the braid. Each pair is going to follow a pair in the braid of the same color. So this one here, for example, is going to follow this pair here. This pair follows the other pair of the same color. Then the other two pairs, this one. is going to follow this pair here, right next to it. And this pair follows the other pair of the same color. We've now done a single tuck with all eight ends. We're going to repeat this once, maybe two more times. So this pair follows the strands below. So these two. This pair 
follows the pair just above here. This pair follows this one. This pair follows this one. So I've now done two tucks. I'm going to bring this pair and this one so the two furthest back right next to the front two. So this one does another tuck under here. This one again does another tuck under here. So this way we have our strands at about the same spot. So this four and this four. Tighten your splice up by pulling on all of the ends and your handle is formed. For the plating over the cord we now cut six strands, three of one color, three of the other, each ten feet long. Then Pull out the inner strands out of your six strands. We now work in our six gutted strands through the start of our braid just after the foot rope knot. So here Make sure that the six ends on the left are of the same length as the six ends on the right. We're now going to pleat from the start here all the way to the handle. I'm going to show you two distinct Plating styles, the diamond pattern, and the herringbone pattern. First, I'm going to show you how to do the diamond plate. It is done pretty much the same way as our other two braids. First, 
First we need to get all of the strands of the same color to the same side. So these here on the left pass over the top to the bottom on the right. These here pass over the top to the bottom on the left. So this is our initial setup. You don't have to mind the look of the setup since we're going to cover it up using a decorative knot later on. For now, let's do our plating. Top three right strands pass behind, in between the strands on the left, back to the bottom on the right. Top three left strands pass behind, in between the strands on the right, back to the bottom on the left. Again, top three right strands pass behind, in between the strands on the left, back to the bottom on the right. Top three left strands pass behind, in between the strands on the right, back to the bottom on the left. Then tighten up by pulling on each of your strands. Usually I go through my strands two times. So once, twice. Then simply continue all the way to the handle. Top right, Top left. Top right. Top left. Again tighten up by pulling on each of your strands. Instead of the diamond plate, you can also do the herringbone plate, which is done similarly to our other braids, but done one strand at a time. Any color combination of strands is going to work. Different color combinations result in different patterns. The plate we start with the top right strand, pass behind, in between the strands on the left, back to the bottom on the right. Top left strand, passes behind, in between the strands on the right, so under 3, over 3, 
back to the bottom on the left. Again top right, passes behind, in between the strengths on the left, so under 3, over 3, and back to the bottom on the right. Top left, behind, in between the strands on the right, so under 3, over 3, back to the bottom on the left. Again top right, under 3, over 3, and back to the right. Top left, behind, under 3, over 3, back to the left. Go through all 12 strands, then we're going to tighten up. Top right, Top left, top right, top left, top right. Top left. Tighten up by pulling on all of your strands. The look of the very start here doesn't matter since we're going to cover it up using a decorative knot later on. For now, simply continue plating. Top right. Top left. Top right. Always going under 3, over 3. When you go through the 12 strands, tighten up by pulling on each of your strands. Usually I go through my strands two times. We do our plating all the way to the splice, right next to the ends which we worked into our braid to form the handle. We now work our plating strands into the braid as well. This set 
follows a pair of strands coming out of the braid. So these three follow these two. The other three follow the other pair again coming from the braid. So to do this, simply work in your strands on top of the pair. The same thing here, these three on top of the pair. Do the same thing with the other color. So these three are going to follow this pair here. These three are going to follow this pair. Here again, these three follow this pair. After the first tuck, things get a bit more obvious. So what we're going to do now is do our splicing again, tucking in our strands one more time. So these three follow on top here, continuing their path. These three follow on top here. These three follow on top here.
these three follow on top here. Like this. Now pull on your strands to really lock them in. After the working hen or pleating strands, we move back to the start of our leash where we're going to place a decorative knot. To make things easier to see, I placed a bit of paper over this section. You don't have to do this. Place a rubber band around your leash here. Take two pieces of paracord, each four feet long. You can remove the inner strands out of these two cords if you want a flatter looking knot. Finally, a lacing needle is going to be used to make our job a bit easier. It's not absolutely needed, but I do recommend it. To tie your knot, take one of the strands Attach your lacing needle onto one end Pass the other end under the rubber band Wrap around Like this Passing over the standing end Come around over this strand. Then pass the opposite to this strand. So under, over. Come around. Double up the standing end. So under over. Now pass the opposite to this strand. So over, under over. Come around. and travel in between the two parallel strands doing the opposite. So between the standing end and the strand doubling it up. Here, going over, under, over. On the right, pass the opposite to this strand. Under, over, under, over. Reaching the standing end. Double it up for a second time. So, under, over, under, over. Here, again pass the opposite to this strand. Over, under, over, under, over. Again travel in between the two parallel strands, so the standing end, 
and the strand doubling it up. Do the opposite. So over, under, over, under, over. On the right, we again do the opposite to this strand. So under, over, under, over, under, over. Reaching the left, where we place our working hand alongside the standing hand, under one. Take the working hand, pass it under the rubber band. Work some slack into the knot from the standing hand, going through the entire knot, leaving a bit of slack behind. So just to loosen up the knot for the second pass with our second cord. Now that the knot is loosened up, take your second cord, attach a lacing needle onto one end, place the other end under the rubber band, onto the left of the first standing hand. We start tying by doubling up our standing hand on its left. So under over, under over, under over, under. Since we exit on the right going under, we re-enter with an over. So over, under, over, under, over, under, Finishing going over two. Since we exit with an over, we re enter with an under. So under, over, under, over. Under. Over two, under one. Again, since we exit under, we re enter over. Over, under, over, under. Over. Under two, over two. Since we exit over, we re enter under. Then over, under, 
over under to over to under one. We exit under, so we re enter over. Over under, over under, continue over to, under to, over to, exiting on the left. Since we exit over, we re enter under. So under, over, under, over to, under to, over to. Under one, we exit under, so we re entered over, over, under, over, under to. Over to, under to, over to, exiting on the left. Since we exit over, we re enter under. So under one, over one, under two. Over to, under to, over to, and under one. Since we exit under, we re enter with an over. So over, under, over to, under to, over to, under to, over to, on the left. Since we exit over, we re entered under. So under, under one that is, then over to, under to, over to, under to, Over two, under one. Since we exit under, we re enter over one. So over one, under two, over two, under two. Over to, under to, over to, reaching the left. Here, we simply pass our working hand 
under the entire knot all the way to the right. Take the other working hand from the first strand Where it's coming out, go back in, under the entire knot, and out on the right. So that's our knot. Tighten up the knot here, starting at one of the standing ends, going through the entire knot and into the working end. Then with the second cord at the standing end, going through the entire knot, reaching the working end. Usually I tighten up two times, maybe three times before moving on. After tightening up your knot, trim the ends as close to the knot as possible. So this part of our dog leash is now complete. Now the part at the handle. At the handle, I'm going to use four strands coming out of the braid to tie a foot rope knot. So these four are one set, the other four are going to be used for the other foot rope knot here at the very end of the handle. So again work these four strands deeper into your braid. So these two. Let's say up to here. These two. Let's say up to here. Now trim the pleating strands and melt them then we're going to tie a foot rope knot a covering knot and another foot rope knot
continue by tying a foot rope knot just like at the start of our leash. We continue with another two-pass gaucho fan knot after the foot rope knot. After tying the decorative knot, trim all of the ends, except for the last four used for the final foot rope knot. Then tie your final foot rope knot. When the last foot rope knot is tied, Trim the final four strands Then, probably the most fun part of this tutorial, rolling the entire leash So you start on one side Begin rolling under a plank. You do this for quite a while, rolling the decorative knot, the plate, and the knots on the other side as well. As the final touch in making the leash, I pushed all of the ends of my cords under my knots to hide them out of sight. With that our leash is complete. Guys, thank you very much for joining me in today's tutorial, I hope that I covered all of the steps clearly enough. Do comment on any questions that you might have, consider supporting the site on Patreon, and I'll see you next time.